Hey there, my name is Dr. Cork, and today I'm conducting an experiment with tonic water. Everyone knows that gin and vodka go well with tonic, but I asked my Instagram followers to name an alcoholic beverage that does not go well with tonic water. In my opinion, mostly everything does, but I got a huge number of responses, selected the most frequent, and today I'm gonna mix several of those beverages with tonic to see if it's really that bad. Hit like and let's get started with Jägermeister. One of the responses that surprised me with how popular it was. Jägermeister is a bitter liqueur infused with a number of herbs that contains bitter orange, cloves and star anise among other secret ingredients. But why do so many people think it wouldn't work with tonic? I mean Jäger tonic is a well-known cocktail. But maybe they think that mixed with tonic water it would be too herbal and too bitter. But I don't know. Will it? Actually, I already know the answer, but let's make it anyway. To this small old-fashioned glass, we're gonna add Jägermeister, one ounce, 30 milliliters, and tonic water. I'm gonna use the same basic tonic for all the drinks. Two ounces, 60 milliliters. Fill the glass with ice, this is a cocktail after all, and stir a little. Now let me try it. In my opinion, it works. Yes, it is herbal and bitter, but I like the taste. It's a definite yes from me. The next one is absinthe, a spirit derived from several plants, including the flowers and leaves of Artemisia absinthium, or Grand Wormwood, together with green anise, sweet fennel and other medicinal and culinary herbs. By the way, if you want me to make a whole video about absinthe and how to drink it, Tell me about that in the comments. Absinthe is pretty strong, it is about 60% alcohol, so I'm gonna mix one part of it with three parts of tonic water. So to the same glass, I'm gonna add absinthe, two thirds of an ounce, 20 milliliters, and the same old tonic water, 60 milliliters, two ounces, a little bit of ice, and stir it a little. Time to try it. Yeah, I can see why <laughs> many people don't like it. Especially if you don't like anise, this won't be the cocktail for you. But I can't say that it's too bad. It's a maybe. Not too bad, not too good, just a maybe. Hmm. The next one is Bailey's Irish Cream. A pretty popular response also, and I have the highest hopes for it in the sense that it would be bad. It would not pair with the tonic. Bailey's is not that strong, so I'm gonna use one part of Baileys with one part tonic. One and a half ounce, 45 milliliters of Baileys and the same amount of tonic. Stir a little, oh yeah, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> As you can see, Irish cream immediately curdled because of the CO2 in the tonic and it looks pretty disgusting. Anyway, I'm gonna add a little bit of ice. I don't think that ice helps, but let me try it. I'm doing this for you, so. Don't forget to hit like. Well, it tastes just as it looks, as if someone has puked in my glass. But I think that the problem is not in the taste, but in the texture of the cocktail, because of the curdles. So it's definitely a no, but let me try to save it. I'm gonna make a sort of clarified milk punch and filter out the kernels. For those who don't know, clarified milk punch is essentially citrus, milk and some strong alcohol like bourbon or rum. When the milk and acid mix, the milk starts to coagulate and curdle. The curdled milk acts as a natural filtration system to rid of all the impurities in the citrus juice and the liquor. Then a strain and a cheesecloth are used to clarify the mixture resulting in a clear liquid. Mine is not that clear, but it's definitely an improvement over the last thing. Now it's time to try clarified Baileys and tonic. I have to say, it's not that bad. It's creamy and light. To this filtered variation, I'm saying maybe. I don't see why you would do that, but if you do, it wouldn't be that bad. Actually, it's better than absinthe and tonic. The next one is 
Cognac or brandy. I know that cognac has to be produced in a specific wine growing region of France and it's not the same as a brandy, but come on, it's the same thing. I use brandy Soberana from Spain, which has been aged in sherry casks. It's pretty sweet for a brandy and very pleasant. Gonzalez Baez, email me. One ounce 30 milliliters of brandy and two ounces 60 milliliters of tonic water. A couple of ice cubes and stir it with a different bar spoon because I haven't washed this one yet. <laughs> now let me try it. Yeah, I see why it, it's not the best combination in the world. The woody notes of brandy do not go well with herbal taste of tonic. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I'd rather add cola instead of tonic. Yeah, it's not balanced at all. So, no, brandy and tonic do not go together. The next one is Amaretto almond liqueur. My prediction is that it will be too sweet and strange, but I also can see that work. So let me try. One ounce, 30 milliliters of Amaretto and two ounces of tonic. Ice and stir. Just a little. Now let me try it. Well, it's not that bad, actually. It is sweet, but not overly sweet. That's why I added two parts of tonic instead of one-to-one -one like with Baileys. It's a strange combination. Uh, because of the almond flavor, uh, you expect it to pair with something like coffee or whiskey or brandy. But it's not that bad. If you have very herbal tonics, there are several tonics that are very bitter and very herbal, so it would not work. But mine is pretty mellow, so I think this one is maybe two yes. I'm gonna say yes. Amaretto and tonic work together, in my opinion. Another popular response was beer, but I think this actually might work. After all, Shandy or Radler or Clara, which is beer mixed with Sprite or 7-Up, is a pretty damn good combination. But maybe the bitterness of tonic will stand out, I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna mix it 50-50. Beer, two ounces, 60 milliliters. This is a Vienna Lager, so we shouldn't be that strong. And tonic, also two ounces, 60 milliliters. I think I'm the first man in the world <laughs> who measures beer and tonic using a jigger. No ice here, because everything is cold. I'm gonna mix it a little bit, just to marry the flavors. Hmm. And let me try it. As I said, this is a great combination. Yes, uh, Sprite or 7 Up would be better, and maybe I should have used some lighter beer. This one is lager, but it's Vienna lager, so it's dark-ish. But overall, it's a great refreshing drink for summer, so this is a yes. And by far, the most popular response was whiskey. There are many styles of whiskey, but I don't think that mixing tonic with bourbon or Irish whiskey would be too bad. So I'm using a scotch instead. Scotch is notorious for not mixing well in cocktails because of its bright iodine flavor, which overpowers everything else. Let's see how it behaves with the tonic. One ounce, 30 milliliters of scotch. I feel physical pain while doing this. And two ounces, 60 milliliters of tonic. A little bit of ice as if it's gonna help, and stir it a little. I have a bad feeling about this. It's very smoky. I don't like smoky whiskey, but here I am. Yeah, it's not good. As I said, scotch is not the best ingredient for cocktails, and this one is no exception. Something like bourbon, which is less smoky, or Irish whiskey, would work better here. Actually, it's almost okay 
if not for the iodine flavor. So it's no for me. Whew, we made it. Of course, I can't mix everything my followers have suggested. Otherwise, this video would be like an hour long. So if you liked it, tell me in the comments what else doesn't go with tonic. If this video gets enough likes and views, I'll do a second part. But for today, I think that's enough. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram. You can find all the recipes in text form on my website dr-cork.com. The links are in the description to this video. If you want to support my channel and get early access to new videos and additional content, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. Thanks a lot. Drink responsibly and as always, до свидос.